Troy. Welcome. How are you? Hey, Mike. Uh, good afternoon. Doing great. Good to talk to you. All right. Uh, before we get to your game, big picture. I mean, the way the NFC shapes out, obviously, everyone tilts it towards San Francisco and Seattle this year, sprinkling a little Atlanta. You see anybody else, or is that the, are those the big teams? Uh, well, I like those three. And then the fourth that I've added to that group would be Green Bay. I, I think that, uh, you know, as many, first of all, what they've accomplished, they've always been in it uh, right up until the end. And even in years where they've had a number of injuries, and that seems to be kind of the the key phrase there with all these teams, if they can stay healthy, but the Packers have shown even when they've had injuries that they're still competitive. So I'd, I'd throw them. I think those are the top four in the NFC. What do you expect from the young quarterbacks who had so much success in rookie years? Sophomore jinxes or more success? Uh, I, well, I think they're going to have more success. Uh, the, the, the real question then, as we know, is whether or not RG3 is healthy. Uh, if he's healthy, then I think that they're going to continue to put better players around him, and it's going to help him. Uh, I, I just don't know. He's certainly not going to be 100% in week one. Will he be 100% at all this year, and will they use him the way that they did? I tend to believe that they won't. Uh, so I, I don't know that he's going to have as many opportunities. Uh, to run with the football like he did last year, but he's going to run in the natural course of things just because of plays breaking down, just like we saw from Steve Young and others, you know, over the years. But uh, he's going to go on, I believe, and still have a fine career. I'm really impressed with Russell Wilson. Uh, I think he's in a good situation there in Seattle. Uh, they're, con- they're obviously loading up and getting better and better players around him. I don't see that changing any time in the near future. And then uh, with Andrew Luck, he's uh, probably, uh, I can't think of another quarterback uh, probably since Peyton Manning that I've been this impressed with at this stage of his career. I, I just think he's the total package and could not be more impressed with how, not only how he's played. I mean, going into last year, Mike, everyone said, first of all, we weren't talking about Russell Wilson, but between he and RG3, we were saying, well, uh, RG3 probably will have more success because he's going to a better team. And then look what Andrew Luck was able to do there in Indianapolis, but I think even away from the field, just uh, him being an ambassador to this league and for that organization, uh, I, I just don't know that he could have. He hasn't had one stumble from best right. I can tell. The guy's been outstanding. And what people don't realize, he got hit more than any quarterback in the league last year. They were yeah. a bad offensive line. He got hit. He got sacked second most in the league and got hit more than any quarterback in the league. He got hit a lot, uh, and they, they didn't run the ball well, so you know now you're not getting protection, and you're not taking any pressure off of him by being being able to run the football and you know so that obviously takes a toll you know when you're young I went through that in my rookie years when you're young you can absorb some of those hits but as you start to get a little bit older and he's certainly not old in his second season but yeah you know, I think that they'll uh, they're certainly addressing it at the end of the day a lot of teams even Green Bay as we get ready for this game a lot of teams talk about wanting to run the football better uh, and yes they all want to do that but once they get into the games on Sundays it's all about winning and I still believe that for the Colts they're going to win the games, uh, as most of these teams are, uh, on the right arms of these quarterbacks. And I'm sad to see that they said they're going to take away a lot of that downfield stuff and make it a little different offense this year, much more tight end, much more uh, timing patterns, and not look the throw to ball. Because to me, they were the most daring offense since watching the Jets and Joe Namath. He threw the ball downfield last year more than any quarterback I've seen in a uh, 20 years. Yeah, you know, and that's kind of Bruce Arians' deal. And, and uh, you know, he did a great job developing Peyton Manning when he came into the league and, and uh, you know, some of the things that they were doing there in Indianapolis along with uh, Tom Moore. And then, you know, of course, with Pittsburgh, they got the ball down the field and that played into the strengths then of, of uh, Ben Roethlisberger. And, you know, I, I agree. I think that's one thing that really probably hasn't been discussed a lot as far as Andrew Luck and, and his development going into year two is the fact that that even though he has a guy that he was with there in college at Stanford, that was a pretty good you know relationship that he had with Bruce Arians. Tremendous. And, and, He's going to miss him. Yeah, they threw it. That. They threw and, it with abandon last year. They yeah, really so did. they it was good. It was good stuff.